Hello, welcome again to another training session with DiaDisplay.com. Today we'll be looking at 20 things to do before a 20. This training is targeted to teenagers that are getting to age of 20 years. And if you are a little bit above 20, you can also check yourself if you did well or not and begin to plan yourself on how to maximize the opportunity along your way number one you must know god if you are a teenager and you are less than 20 this season is the season of your life that you must know god what do we mean by knowing god you must know god for yourself you must know your creator you must know what he sent you to do or not and you must plan to return back to him when you fulfill your purpose or not and you must plan all these things you must know god and you must be born again you must give your life to christ number two you must discover yourself there are natural talents and special gifts god has given unto you there are also spiritual gifts you have received this age is the age for you to discover yourself and discover all these gifts and talent so that you can know how to maximize this number three you must be responsible and develop your leadership skills this is very important at this age this age is a sensitive age the age before the age of 20 you must be able to do so many things discover yourself have a focus a vision for your life at the age of 20 there are some things we are expecting to see in your life you must be responsible and you must develop leadership skills number four get education you must have education there are two levels of education we have the formal education and we have the informal education the formal education is not everybody that have that right now you must desire to go for higher degrees don't just stop at secondary school level move up and go to higher institution once you finish that still continue with informal education read books go to seminars develop yourself the level of your education will determine the level of money that enters into your pocket and here i'm not just talking about having certificates you can have a lot of certificates but your education must be able to solve problems you must have capacity to solve college problem number five learn a skill one of my mentor says you should learn new skill every three three months you should learn a new skill so at your age your focus should be on learning a skill learn new skills learn how to do different set of skills that you have interesting for example you can learn photography it's a skill you can learn uh social media skills you can learn barbing skills you can learn a lot of skills out there number six volunteer you volunteer your services you you volunteer your skill you ensure that at every point in time you are always busy doing one thing or the other Presently, a guy works in my organization. He's just 15 years old. And this 15 years old guy has, he has two blogs and he runs that blog from his own phone. He set up the blog from the phone and he's running all the activity on that blog from just a phone. He doesn't have a laptop. And when we discover that, we have to talk to his parents and he volunteered to work with my organization so volunteer so that you can build your capacity you build your skill you learn along the way have online presence once you are 18 years old you can have an email address that's one of your online presence then you can have a facebook uh profile but we'll go on google and we search you what can we see there so you begin to deliberately build your online presence number eight you must learn how to cook and do other also shows <laughs> there is a picture here a way do soup 
with Amala. So, as a teenager, can you do this? You must learn it because very soon you become a youth and you become young adults and you'll be cooking for your husband and for husband too you you'll be doing stores at home so you must learn basic household chores number nine you must learn a computer skill this is one of the most valuable skills you can have right now especially when you are looking for jobs so now that you are still a teenager go to computer school learn a skill and if you want to be in that field then you, be, you can learn a programming language you can learn java you can learn python and all those programming languages they are very good for you why because you are developing your skill computer skills is very good this there's nobody will employ somebody that does not know how to own a laptop nobody will employ you so and you will see that in school curriculums all these things are packaged together so that you can distinguish yourself as you grow number 10 have a library you must have a library by the time you are age 20 you must have read at least 20 self-development books so if you are above 20 right now how many books do you have in your library how many of them have you gone through a library is when i look at your library are we be able to pick the kind of future you are building for yourself by the kind of books you collect in your library number 11 know what you want to become in life you must know what are those things that interest you who are those people that when you see what they are doing you begin to look at yourself and say very soon one day i'll be doing what this person is doing or what this group is doing or what this organization is doing so know what you want to become in life for example for myself at the age of 20 i already have an idea of what i'm going to become number one i know that i'm going to become an entrepreneur so at that young age i already know what i want to do but what i will be doing i don't know the full version but at least i have a glimpse of what it will be like number 12 have a pastor and get a mentor some people are very lucky their parents double as a pastor and a mentor for them while some people they don't have a pastor they don't have a mentor one of the things you need to do is to deliberately look out for people along your line that you know that they can add value to you so currently i have some set of teenagers that i mentor i give them books to read they come to do presentation i ask them questions along their line of interest and we begin to build them along that line and they do well in their academics at the same time they know exactly how they will add value to the world number 13 travel some people have been in one location for a long time they've never traveled tell your parents let them take you out you can go to shop price some people have not been to shop price before take the, tell them to take you out some of you have not traveled to your village before so you need to travel before you are age 20 you need to travel number 14 learn your father's language and visit your grandparents most of you have not been to village before you don't even you used to hear that there is one grammar but you have never been to village before so you need to visit them and you need to learn your father's language number 15 have a valid means of identification this is very important once you are 18 years old in nigeria you are entitled to have a valid means of identification and one of them is the voter's card you can get that one right now the next one is the international passport you can get a driver's license or you go for the national identity management commission the national identity card you can have that once you have this you can do so much with it but if you don't have a valid means of identification anywhere you go they will say identify yourself show us a government recognized means of identification number 16 have a savings 
as a young kid you should have a savings people will come to visit you in your family they give you money you should have a savings i remember then before i was age of 20 i had a savings that i was able to use for so many things so you should have a savings a savings is something that you keep it's not the one that you save today and tomorrow you spend it have a long-term plan for your savings you can tell yourself that by the i will have uh a savings and by the time i'm age 20 that's when i will open that savings and you can this you can decide to have all the mayors you can use to save you can save with your parent your parents are opening a bank account for you and be saving there there is one that they call colo in your right the english word for that is um what they call piggy bank now this piggy bank you can just drop your money there and decide that by the time i'm age 20 you you open it and you see what you get from there and these savings can help you to start a small business for me for young people you start a business not necessarily to make money but to develop and build your capacity i could remember then that i used to sell things just to develop my capacity number 17 have a business idea by the time you are age 20 you should have business ideas that you do i saw a competition sometimes ago and they are targeting the youngest entrepreneur between the age of 15 and 22 that's the application and they want to give you five thousand dollars they do it every year so at the age of 20 you are not too young to start a business so begin to have an idea of business you would like to start number 18 have a bank account once you are above 18 years old you can open a bank account for yourself and if you are below 18 through your parents you can have a bank account your parent will stand in for you so you can go to any of the banks that you like and open your bank account there. Number 19. Have a to-do list. This helps you to manage your time very well. It helps you to plan very well. A to-do list helps you to know what you should do per day, what you should do per week, what you should do per month, eventually what you should do per year. What I do is every day, I write down what I want to do and as I achieve them I cross them out and that has helped me to be more productive number 20 learn how to say no to worldliness abstain from worldliness uh, what do I mean by that fornication conversiousness drunkenness immodest dressing pornography gambling and a lot of that you have to say no to worldliness as a teenager before you are 20 you must learn how to say no and you must be able to say no to what will terminate your future imagine somebody that got pregnant at the age of 20 and the person will have to lose like one or two years just to attend to the pregnancy and attend to the baby or imagine somebody that tried to to remove the pregnancy and the person from there to the other side so just imagine that so you must say no to worldliness so on this note i want to encourage you before you are age 20 be a be a teenager that is focused that knows exactly what to do part time how to do it where to go you must learn how to say no so i know you have questions right now at the bottom of this video at the comment section put your questions i will personally answer those questions for you so i want to thank you for your time i know that you would like to contact me so for your next program your teenage program different platform we go to do presentation so whether church platform or school platform will be there to add value to your seminars and training so you can contact me on 80 
or you send me an email to dial at gmail.com and you can visit our website www.dialadithlay.com on this note i want to say keep progressing be focused and say no to worldliness thank you very much